Ooh. <laughs> Honey, get me the syrup. I smell pancakes. So why would you want to get a pancake air compressor? Well, for one thing, it's small and compact and fairly lightweight. This one's about 30 pounds and it's got a built-in handle so you can just grab it and go take it with you wherever you want to go. It's not a big deal and it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. The price point's pretty good too, right around 100 bucks. Now, even though this has 150 PSI, which means you can operate pretty much all the air tools out there, you're limited to the smaller ones because of the smaller six gallon tank. So we're talking staples and nails, not an impact, a grinder and a drill. Plus, it's also oil free, which means it's relatively maintenance free, so it's gonna last a very long time. Let's crack open the box and see what's inside. Got the manual right up on top. Whoa! So that's really all that's in the box, just the manual and the air compressor. There's no hose, so you've got to get one if you don't have one already. Now this does come as a kit with a nailer and a hose, but the way this comes, well, it's just a compressor. Luckily, I've got a hose we can test it out with. Now when you turn the compressor on, the tank's gonna start filling up and you'll be looking at the tank pressure gauge over here on the left. When the tank stops, it's safe to start using. Uh, you can hook up your tools to either one of these two quick connects and you wanna control the PSI here on the right. This is the outlet pressure and you can control that via this regulator knob that's down here below. You wanna make sure that you dial this in to match the PSI rating of the tool that you're gonna be using. Located just below the tank pressure gauge is the safety valve and all you gotta do to operate that is just pull on that ring and then down here on the bottom is the drain valve. Just twist that to open it. This electric oil-free pump operates at 0.8 horsepower and max 150 PSI and 82 on the dB level. Now before I hook up the tool and we fire it up, I want to talk about another important feature which is the 2.6 SCFM at 90 PSI for quick recovery time. Now I know I just lost you so hang in there because everybody talks about PSI which is important when it comes to air tools but there's also SCFM which is the standard cubic feet per minute sometimes just referred to as CFM. Now this is a rating that indicates the amount of air that the tank can deliver in order to deliver optimal performance for the tool. So a tool will not only be rated for a certain uh, PSI but also for a CFM or SCFM so be sure to look at the tool and that is why you can't run an impact gun on this, but you can run a nailer just fine. To operate the compressor, make sure it's off and then plug it into the wall. Turn the regulator knob all the way to the left to make sure it's completely closed and the gauge says zero PSI, so we're not delivering any air pressure to these two outlet valves. And then come over here and plug in your hose and your accessory and then turn it on. Now the pump is automatically gonna shut off when it reaches its cutout pressure. Now the tank is all filled up, you'll notice that we don't get any air out of here and that's because the regulator knob is all the way closed and we've got zero PSI on the outlet. So we wanna turn that up a little bit until we get some pressure and then we'll be able to get some air through the hose. Now after each day of use, you wanna make sure you drain your tank of air. And the reason why is because compressed air creates condensation inside and that water builds up down here in the bottom. It can lead to rust and tank failure. And over time, you don't want this thing blown up on you, do you? So here's what you need to do. First, turn the tank off, turn the regulator knob all the way to the left and then pull the safety valve until the tank pressure gets down to about 20 PSI. And then down here on the bottom, the last step is the drain valve. You wanna loosen that up. There's quite a bit of vibration when you turn the compressor on. So these padded rubber feet really help absorb some of that as well as protect it when it starts moving around. Well, look at that, made in the USA with global materials. Thanks for bringing things back home, Craftsman. We really appreciate it. Keep it up, and I know you are. Now, this thing's got a one-year limited warranty, and I really like the size of this. This is super portable, and I'm gonna be using this quite a bit. My 27 gallon that I've got over here is huge. I use it all the time, but it's just not movable. I basically got it fixed in place because I've got the hose going up the wall over the ceiling to a hose reel, and that's just the way that I like it. It's all dialed in for my shop, but I really can't take it anywhere. And there are times when I've needed an air compressor. So I'm gonna be using this quite a bit. I love the features and I hope you do too. I've got a link in the description so you can go check that out. I'll catch you next week for another one. Thanks for watching.